Welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers, and uh, I'm sorry we've been gone for a while, but life gets in the way, like we said on our TikTok. Um, we are finally back, and we are starting out with a twofer. <laughs> I love that word now, which is Garfield the Movie and Garfield the Tale of Two Kitties. Um, and for both of these, they were a three, which is it's okay. We'll watch if the mood is right. I think it verges on a four, like maybe we'd watch it, but it's still closer to a three, right? Yeah. Um, so I guess what we're going to do is we'll go through the first one, then we'll go through the second one, um, giving our spoilers as we go. But honestly, if you haven't seen these, you're not from our generation. You're of a generation that didn't experience it, but... I mean, honestly, you probably should watch it before you watch the new Garfield that's going to be coming out in this year, which is based more on the cartoon, which we will go see because we think it looks cute. Well, we'll probably stream it, not see it in theaters. Yeah, it depends on how we are at the time. <laughs> our dog is staring at our cat. <laughs> and if you can't tell, our orange tabby over there... Over there. <laughs> he's not named Garfield, but he's big enough to be one. <laughs> um, he's, he's Mufasa, though. Okay, so continuing with the first one. Um, so this one is basically the introduction. You're getting the cul-de-sacs in. The main story is basically Garfield getting to get used to Odie. And you're seeing the uh, life of John. Yeah. And how he, he goes after his favorite girl, uh, who's played by Jennifer Love Hewitt, and we love that. <laughs> um, anything you want to say about this? We're doing spoilers, right? Yeah. Well, I do like the spaceship. Normal. With normal. I mean, he was very smart to get the milk that way. I'm sorry, we're having disaster in the corner here. Um, okay, beyond... Buster, leave your brother alone. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Cat has figured out he can fit somewhere, and he's being annoying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can he get out? That's the next question. Do I need to help him? Oh, no. No, he got it. He got it. If only we could turn the camera and let you see. Oh no, he, now he's going to sleep in there. Well, just like Garfield, normal cats are as un... Um, how should we say it? They don't stick to a script. You know, we could just turn around and show them what happened. <laughs> Did you just skip them? Okay, so if you can, here I'll show you. We have our TV right there. There's our cat. That one's Kiwi. <laughs> He's being a weirdo. And then, of course, turning us back around. Is it perfect? Probably not, but whatever. Um, there's our other cat right there. Of course, I'm like <laughs> trying to show you on the screen. And then the other one right there. Right back behind me. <laughs> Literally both right there. And then, of course, we have our miscreant puppy, who is a lot like Odie in the movie. I gotta fix this. <laughs> and, you know, like always say, we're not scripted. This is, you're getting us live, and any disaster that happens, that goes along with it. You need to go that way a little bit more. Ugh. We only to cut Luna off then. How's that? Yeah. You get a close up of me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back, back to, on the, to movie. the movie. <laughs> yeah. um, I do like when they go to the dog show. And Odie just starts dancing, and they're like, oh my god, he is wonderful. Well, we also love the weird sayings that Garfield says, too. Like, uh, and when he eats something and he says, that's the sign that the tank is full. He belches. He, he belches. Um, and we use that a lot, too. I, not in public, at home. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about it. I like the way they portrayed the bad guy. Um, and I love how John sticks up for them in the end, even though he has no idea what's going on, but apparently he thinks 
Odie and Garfield were stolen by him, even though I love Garfield at the end is going, I did the rescuing, why are you getting the reward kind of thing, you know? And then, um, when Garfield switches the hash in his liver. <laughs> I like, I like he's just like, oh yeah, hash, and he's eating and he's like, oh, liver, liver. <laughs> he goes, has to spit it out. Uh, is there anything else from the first one? I don't think so. Um, oh, the rats. Oh, yeah. Oh, the the normal mouse. Because Garfield doesn't ever chase them, but he has to pretend. Lewis. Lewis. I, I had a stuffed Lewis after the first movie came out. I think I still have it, too. Um, and then... Uh, and then, of course, when he goes into town and he finds all the rats, and they're like, ooh, you look juicy, because, look, Garfield's a pig, so he's super fat. And and then all of a sudden, Lewis comes out of nowhere and goes, oh, you don't want to eat him. No, we're good. And they're like, dang it. <laughs> um, I love the uh, other animals in it. Like, The only thing I'm sad about is the fact that they made Garfield animated. They probably could have used a real cat, made it more real. Uh, Live, kind of thing, because they just had to find a fat, overbeast orange tabby. Yeah, but how can you find a cat like that that'll eat lasagna? And also, it's probably not very good for a cat to be eating lasagna. Just put a lot of butter on it. No, you're still not getting it. I know. No, but you can pretend they, they they can edit out certain food and make it look like they're eating lasagna. That's true. I mean, back then it, it was digitalized enough to do a cat. You can digitalize lasagna. Two thousand four. Yeah. So I mean, that's the only downfall about it. But I guess to get the actual look of the character, you have to animate it. But I mean, get an animate Odie, and he's a total different dog than what they had. You know. But they just wanted to put a dumb dog in. Even though our dog looks like Odie. And he ain't dumb. He acts it, but he's not dumb. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Yes, you know it. Alright, shall we move on to the second movie? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and start that one. Alright, this one... Basically... Uh, John is following his uh, girlfriend, the vet. Who's played by Jennifer Love Hewitt. How many times can we say that in a script thing? I don't know. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> but he basically chases after her because he is trying to propose. <laughs> and it fails miserably the first time. It's like he has dinner all planned out, which is one of my favorite parts. And he's like pouring, uncorking the wine, and Garfield decides to change the music to something loud. Boom! And he and spills all over himself. <laughs> And he has, like, it's super romantic. And she comes in going, I have to go to London. I leave in the morning. And he's going, bah, bah. And then and he's like, I had something important to ask you. He's looking all over himself for the, the ring box. Of course, it cuts to Garfield hopping on the table where the bird is that he just cooked with the ring box. And he and he's just standing. And then Odie comes around the corner with a chew toy in his mouth. He goes, oh, I potty cha trained uh, Odie. And all of a sudden, uh, it's Liz. Yeah, Liz. Liz. She she goes, oh well, that can explain the rose petals. <laughs> I I know from the way that she reacted, she knows what's going on, but she's just playing dumb to make him feel better. Yeah, and then they're in London, and Odie and Garfield have a snuck aboard. <laughs> Funny when. When uh, John sees them hop out of his bag, um, and he, he's looking, and he's like, there are no clothes in here. They had thrown his clothes out Dear, when he was leaving the vet's office, where he had left them, the boarding place, and he never noticed. <laughs> and um, so they come out, and, and uh, the first thing out of Liz's mouth is, oh, you gotta make sure that, that nobody finds them, because there's quarantine laws here. It's like... She's worried about them. She doesn't even care about his clothes. <laughs> and immediately Garfield's just walking away. And he gets in the, uh, the... Bathroom. No, the bathroom. But what's the thing he hops into? The bidet. And he's like, ooh, a cute little bathtub for me. And it sprays him in the face. <laughs> 
And then, of course, uh, he gets mistaken for another cat. Well, I mean, the whole movie is centered around the first cat, whose name is Prince, and he's a royal kitty, and his owner has passed, and he's been left the estate. And, well, the nephew wasn't too happy, so he's trying to get rid of the cat. So when you meet him, he's coming out of the... What happens is the butler goes into town, sees Garfield, who he assumes is Prince... And, um, and he picks him up and Garfield's like, why do they always go for the cat? You know, and, and, and he's calling for Odie, call the police, call the police. And then there's this pie sitting on the seat and he's going, never mind, I'm good. <laughs> um, but it's, it's basically where it's, it's basically the tale of the, the Prince and the Popper. Prince and the Popper. Um, where it's going, the king of the castle, the king of the, the cul-de-sac. And they say that in the movie. Um, One of my other favorite scenes is when, finally, Prince and Garfield are face-to-face -face with each other. But, uh, they're, Garfield at first thinks it's a mirror. Then he goes back and does several different things, and Prince is just like, what the heck? But has to do the final act. And then Garfield is just like, tch, tch. <sighs> and the other guy just falls because he ran out of breath. And he's like, I knew it. <laughs> he's like, oh, you must be Garfield. He's like, how do you know? I'm like, I've been living your life for the past couple days. <laughs> like, oh. oh I, and another favorite part when they're making the lasagna. Oh, and another one is when at the end. When Liz and, and John are standing there, he's finally proposed, and, and they're like, oh, there's two cats. How do you tell which one's Garfield? Odie gets onto the couch, and then Gar Garfield immediately grabs the pillow and knocks it off. Garfield. Kiwi, <laughs> uh, are you stuck? Nope. Okay. He just acts like he is. You think for a long cat, he'd fit in such tiny places. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else. I don't think so either. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, especially before you're seeing the new one. Um, also, if you like, if you've been this far in, please subscribe. Please like us. I mean, we don't need it. We'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we'll keep doing these reviews. I mean, even after we run out of our own movies, we're going to do more that we haven't watched in a while or things that we want to see from our childhood. We're coming up with new and great ideas. We've got a, I um, mean, if you're on our TikTok page, we're going to have some creative things for the holidays, um, Valentine's and a um, couple other holidays because there's not specific movies for certain things. <laughs> but other than that, we'll, we're going alphabetical and then we'll go back around. Because <laughs> we already have some C's. I think we have a C. And we're in G. <laughs> but other than that, I hope you enjoyed this, and we will be back with another one in a little bit. Bye. bye. It had to prime. And I said bye already. The remote's not liking us today. Work. Nope, that didn't work. Am I going to have to press the button? As you can tell, this is very unscripted. I mean, my...